Hey, what's up, guys? I uh, picked up another reason car versus Eldrazi. If you guys don't believe me, I opened up uh, the first one right here. So, I, this is the Zen car, and here's the Eldrazi. So, which I'll be doing a up or a deck file of those decks uh, here pretty soon. Um, so, yeah, let's just go ahead and open this up. So, yeah. And then we also get Dyson here as well, which I will show you guys as well. We get two deck boxes, which don't fit the cards with the sleeves in them, but they're still very, very cool. So there's the same box. There's the uh, one that my Zen card deck is in. So I'll put those, I'll put those together. So very, very cool. And then here's the uh, Eldrazi one, which is a uh, red and black, which is actually a pretty good deck if you can customize it and make it your own build. So, which I will show you my build um, once I uh, finish opening up the decks uh, for you guys. So. It may take me a little, a little bit to figure out what I need to do to it, but, um, yeah. So, reference, uh, card, and then on, a little bit of information on, uh, the decks and how they work, and then a little bit of information on the tail, like about how the, um, the Eldrazi's are released and stuff like that, so pretty cool and then the deck list so that's pretty cool for Eldrazi and then Zendikar so that's pretty cool so set that aside but the main event that you guys want to see is the decks so there we go alright so for the dice we have a green dice which with the set symbol or for this set anyway. And then a red dice. So that's really cool. And then for the decks themselves. Alright, so since I went over the Zendikar one in the last video, I'll go over the Eldrazi one this time. So the promo, which is amazing. Or the card that you get in every. Uh, dual deck. And then the Zendikar, or the Eldrazi deck first. Uh, so first you get this. I'm going to quickly go over the cards because I went, went through it in the first one. But I'll still show you guys the stuff. That you get. Uh, amazing card. Um, granted it's a high cost, but it's just amazing. So, um, yeah. It's like a... Twelve dollar card right now, and with the reprint, um, I don't know how much it was before the reprint, but with the reprint, it's like twelve bucks. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, so just gonna roll through some of the stuff. This is amazing. Um, you might need one more, uh, but for me, I might just use two. So that's amazing. I wish it came with three, but uh, that one you. You only need uh, three of him, so. But I'll go over in the in the deck profile and explain. So these are really good if uh, you uh, kicker it. So and then these are amazing. It gives you tokens which you can sacrifice for more uh, mana to summon your big guys out, like your Eldrazi's, so, pretty cool. And then this is amazing, it's a fishy, I forget the card, um, but it's like a one, one cost burn, which is pretty good, and the Mind Stone, which is also really good. So, there's a bunch of good stuff in here. Read the Bones is really good for draw power. 
Uh, corpse. And then these are really good. And then Eldrazi Temple, which I need another one of those. That's very good. And Rocky Tarpets, which that's also good for search. Searching for the land. And then your mounds. Or your swamps, my bad. And then your mounds. And then you get um, four Eldrazi spawn tokens. Plus one uh, Hellion token. So that's really cool. Like I said, I love the, I love the Eldrazi deck so much. It's just amazing. They they could have made it a little bit more better, but I mean, with how it is, it's just amazing. So now with the Zendikar uh, deck, so there's the effect on it. And does this one have one? Um, there it goes. Right, so it's just uh, wrapped underneath the thing so now for the Zendikar deck so I'm just gonna roll through it just so you guys can get a uh, look at what's in here this is really good um, primal command is also amazing and then steering uh, wild wood so it becomes a three four green white I went to a creature token or a creature with reach which is still Amazing, and then it's also a land, so um, yeah, so it's pretty good. And then the level up cards, which are kind of confusing a little bit, but I mean, it's, it's easy to understand. But if you don't, if you haven't seen them before, which I haven't before, then it's a bit confusing. But someone, someone explained it to me, so it's pretty easy. So, and then Puma. Dire Raging Wild Heart. That's that. I'll, I'll do a deck profile over this deck as well with the two Zendikar decks that I have combined, so it'll be pretty fun uh, making that. So I'm just trying to give you guys a glimpse of what's in here. Wild Heart Invoker, that's pretty cool. Uh, this is very good for uh, searching for land in um, the Eldrazi deck. I wish this would have been in Eldrazi, but it's not. Um, some buff up and life gain for your opponent for some reason. <laughs> Repel of Darkness is actually a pretty good um, card. And then Sheer Drop is also really, really good. And then you get like two of those. And then Evolving Wilds, which is actually pretty good. And then uh, Gray Pelt Refugee, or Refuge, whichever one you prefer. And then uh, that. And then you, you're basically your force and then your planes and at the end you get five plant tokens which are pretty cool for your uh zendikar avenger so yeah that's basically the two uh dual decks i say in my opinion i still like the eldrazi one a lot more better but um yeah they're both really cool and uh stay tuned for uh deck files over these two decks and my own build i guess you could say and, uh, yeah, and stay tuned for a green-white wolf centaur token spam deck that I showed you guys in one of my Yu-Gi-Oh deck phones. So, um, yeah, so stay tuned for that. And, yeah, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you later. All right, later, guys.